All right, we are on to losers finals now between Pekka and Ramon. One, go! Tensive start between both players. Trying to get comfortable with the atmosphere. Right, Ramon slowly but surely building up the center's lead. Oh, that's interesting. Pekka not being too aggressive here. He's standing back a bit more. He's holding back a bit more. That's good to see. Let go of shield at the wrong time there, unfortunately. Pekka trying his best to hold on to the pressure on Ramon. Which he's managing to do despite a few hiccups. Good forward there. I thought the bomb was going to cause a bit of an issue there for Ramon. Must have thrown it away when he was close to the blast zone. I respect Tekka's mix-up recovery, but Ramon sort of saw it coming by doing the floating down airs. Obviously, he wants to time the down air, but Hero Spin comes to the rescue for Tekka. Down to the forward air, not gonna kill just yet. A bit more standoff. A bit more of a standoff action. Both players yet again. Ramon's getting most of the critical hits. But seems to let his edge guarding slip away a bit. Does eventually find a fast holding forward there. Oh dear. Only 23% so far though. Ramon resorting to holding back. Trying to hold on to his first stock as long as he can. And I think Tech, for the most part, Tech is just responding with playmates and boomerangs. Wouldn't want to get too, wouldn't want to rely on platforms too much. Oh, very nice, very nice boy there. Deca tried to get Ramon out of his face, and that's why he tried to respond with a false falling aerial. But Ramon just sits, swiftly responds, throwing a crown at him, and away the second stop goes. Deca have to play very well in order to make a quick comeback. But if he keeps getting caught near ledge by that, by down air, he's just asking for trouble. Very nice counter on the on the turnip pro. Tekka's just really desperate looking for a hit with projectiles. And while that is still respecting your opponent's ability to pressure and punish at hand, sometimes if you get too comfortable, your stop could be gone. Sometimes your stop could be gone. Or more percentage racked up on you, depending on the scenario. Decker makes it back onto the stage, but as soon as he got on that platform, there's a two frame turnip on ledge. Oh, what has Ramon done? Alright, makes it. Alright. Does slot. Does. Oh, they're lucky. Up row, not gonna kill just yet. That's a bit unfortunate. Ah, Ramon was hoping for Tekka to land very aggressively because he used counter there. But nevertheless, Ramon does, does win the first game over Tekka. What I can understand, platforms seem to be, seems to be the biggest um, problem for your young Link in this particular matchup with Daisy. But it has been a few times in... But in last set in particular with um, Tekka and Tekka and Xcop, whenever Tekka does does use platforms to escape from the action so to kick a breather, he will make these uh, he will make the occasional directional air dodge landing, and he does get called out for it. And on one instance, it did lead him to losing losing a um, game. So, on to game two, on to battlefield we go.
items doing all the hard work for Tekka right now. Also, sound alerts are not are not turned on. Please don't use them. Thank you. Tekka having a lot of stage control, which is good to see. So the stage counter pick, so the stage pick is working in his favor. And it, seems to, and it doesn't seem to be a problem with platforms and such for this matchup. I suppose it's just down to a player's way. Very nice horse smash, and it does just manage to take out Ramon's first stop. Okay, hoping to hold on to this momentum. Oh! That was very, that was quite a call out, Mr. Saturn! Oh my word! How would you like your pancakes? What? I was not expecting that. Man, it all happened in a flash. Uh, one deal to remote. One deal to remote. Uh, sorry about that, background talking. So yeah, um, uh, back to the back to the game at hand. Back to the game at hand. It's just a blink of an eye. With it's just a blink of an eye. Tekka lost his Tekka lost his first stop. Everyone just managed to find something that worked out for him. And both players virtually equal. Bit of a standoff between the two. Again, Tekka heavily relying on projectiles to get Ramon to mess up on his pressuring. Oh, up smash punish from landing on the platform. I think that's been the main problem with Tekka. Some of his landing landing options on platform has been heavily punished in some in some scenarios. And Ramon has swung the momentum back into his favor in this set as well. I think that Mr. Saturn stop that Mr. Saturn's shield break is a big turning point right now. Is really struggling to find any sort of advantage on stage because he's spending for the most part just um, trying to recover and whatnot. Covered slowly, but that's not going to be an issue for R Ramon. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. Up, that's not going to kill just yet. Turn up hit. Still had his jump. How did that hit? That looked like they hit Young Link from the back. And even if it did, he should have gone forward back onto the stage. Oh well, it's a mystery. Also, to some of my regular viewers of my stream, I'm hosting, I'm hosting, I am using my setup to host a, um, very small smash bracket right now. Steve. Easy. Oh, uh, we got Steve again. Steve's back out. Let's Three, see how this will turn out. Two, one, go. I'm not too sure if you would class P P Daisy as a rushdown type character. Meanwhile, dot face. Meanwhile, dot face. Ah, got nothing out of it. Very good there from Becca to not get not get attacked by it. But you know, as I said in the last set between between Tekka and X God, Rostan characters typically are Steve's are some of Steve's worst matchups. I wouldn't necessarily call Daisy a Rostan type character, but um Daisy, Daisy and Peach do have some particular nasty neutral combos. However, though, it looks like Ramon is suffering. Oh my word! Oh, how did that shield not break? Nevertheless, though, I think there was a bit of a panic, a bit of state of panic there from Ramon. Oh, look at this combo play from Tekka! Ebe Shmove, y'all! Sorry if that's. Sorry if that was. Was it? <laughs> Sorry if that was a bit funny and whatnot. Okay. 
But we saw this kind of momentum though in the, in the second game. Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Just missing out ledge. Why is Ramon throwing out taunts? Well, back to mining for Tekka. And it seems to be punishing Ramon very effectively when, as soon as he approaches him. Who's in Grant's um, Dark Stalker? Well, it was only Tekka that hit hit. Bit interesting that Ramon celebrates that TNT, that self TNT hit with a, with a couple of taunts. I, 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 I click. I really think Ramon doesn't know how the matchup works. That's a nice forward air. Not gonna kill just yet. Oh, very nice back air to punish the up, up, up the. Now then, both characters onto their last stop. Can Tekka close out game three and head into game four? And if we do go game four, will we see a character swap from Ramon? Turnip's helping to add pressure onto Steve, stop him from mining, mining. Really good build, really good block building coming out there from Ramon. Sorry, I'm Tekka. But Ramon just broke some blocks for a turnip and said, Oh, hello, did you order turnips? I like the jump away from Ramon. Understanding, understanding. That's the sort of protocol for some Steve players. Try to quickly get back on center stage. As well as the fact that if you get hit by the minecart when it's running along the ground, you'll get stuck in it. And that is a free up smash for Steve as well. It's a free up smash for Steve. You literally can't escape it. It's certain death. At the right percentages and such. Mecha is running low on equipment though. Holding back for the most part. Oh my word! Just manages to run up with the forward smash. Uh, well played there from Tekka. Was under a lot of pressure because again, Tekka was on the was very close to running out of material, so had to react, had to do something very quickly to get out of pressure, and that's what he's exactly done. Tekka still sticking with Steve, fair enough. Obviously not feeling confident with Young Link, especially how Game 2 went. Despite taking the early lead, Ramon got back, got back. Take Game 2. Alright, does, does find a floating down there, but again, Tekka's looking the more relaxed of the two right now. The blocks actually helped Tekka there. Get out, get away from disadvantages quickly. After that forward air. Oh! Wow! Wow! Two forward airs. Turnip? No. Had to quickly get back on ledge. Just to try to add more pressure onto Tekka's recovery. Hasn't happened. Are you sure you want to do that? That block actually could have staged by drop. Uh, Ramon down, but oh, that's unlucky. Managed to intercept Tekka because Tekka forced Ramon to use up B. That's why he SD. But it's still a very, it's still very even though to set between both players. Ramon is doing better in this matchup compared to the first, compared to Game Three. Managed to find a way to use turnip to into mess. To mess, mess about with Steve's options. Okay, that's good from Ramon. Running away from from um, a quick block placement and then an up tilt. Uh, getting hit by the minecart needs to understand. Needs probably a bit more of an understanding of when that's going to come out. Most of the time, when a C player recovers high, they tend to use minecart. Which is really good for pulling out the aggressive land.
The main thing that's been helping Ramon keep in contention with Theo Steve is that he keeps using turnips at the right time. Ramon can't really run towards center stage because of the TNT. Just missed out on the forward tilt after the up smash. After the up smash came out. More minecart advantage. More minecart advantages coming for Tekka. Diamond. Ramon needs to get rid of Tekka's second stop. That will stop Tekka from being able to use diamond equipment, if I'm not mistaken. I know someone will correct me if I'm not. Just, just avoided the turn. Oh! Oh, I think that was I I clearly that seems like a misjudgment there from Tekka. Maybe I don't think he intended to stop building with diamond equipment. And it's because of that he's lost it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this. Not a bad way to try to call out a potential mix up mix up approach. Ramon is quickly building up the percentage, making a nice comeback. Went for another forward smash, but back edge just intercepted. Oh, that was a stitch face. That's a bit unfortunate for Ramon. Not to hold on to it. What is that? The down smash. Tekka really thought he was going to recover to the ledge very quickly. Ramon comes out as the winner for game 